walk down that drink. Uh, uh, walk down. Ah, I'ma walk down with the drink. Can't be can't chop off his neck, cut off his arms, and eat his face. Ah, but I got you tuning in to the greatest podcast out of Atlanta today. We got a very special guest. He's Lil Waddy. Yeah, yeah. For the people that don't know where you from. I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta. What part of Atlanta? Boulevard. Boulevard. Yeah, yeah. Born and raised in Atlanta. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. Who is Little Waddy? Hmm? Who is, like, for the people that don't know, who is you? Uh, Atlanta drill artist. Drill artist? I won't say drill, but Atlanta artist. Atlanta drill artist. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, the whole drill scene in Atlanta is blowing up right now. Type of shit. So you say you don't want to consider yourself a, a drill artist? Mm-mm. Why not? I ain't trying to make the young nigga go spin now. <laughs> shit, they already doing that shit on themselves, though. I know. It just shit. So what you saying? Your music is bad influence type shit? Nah. To the youth? They just gonna listen. Wanna listen to that hot shit while they going, trying to go do something. <laughs> Fuck around, go spin a nigga how. <laughs> Listening to that headshot. Hey, bro. So they crashing out, basically. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, man. But I feel like that's on them, bro. Everybody got their own mind to think, you feel me? God. So shit, they crash out on their own. You can't really blame your music. God. Type shit. Hey, yo, how do you feel about this whole uh, Atlanta drill scene right now? You fucking with it? Or oh, you ain't fucking with it too much? Oh, fuck with it. It hard. It hard? Yeah, too many folks doing it. You said too many folks doing it? So you think it's going to get played out because a lot of people trying to hop on the train? Mm-mm. That would the other be what it is to that, that drill. That drill. See that why you said that you fucking with it, but like the older, you know, the older people, they don't, they ain't fucking with that shit too much. But hell yeah, I know you had told me you signed, right? How's it going with the label? Good. You doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Type of shit. So what you on? What you been doing? I know you just dropped the tape too, right? Yeah. yeah. Would you consider that a mixtape or an EP? A EP. A EP? Hell yeah. And I know, damn, how many songs would you say uh, for the people that haven't heard it, how many songs on the tape? Like 16, 17. 16, 17. So, so that's a whole fucking tape type shit. What would you say is the best song on the tape, in your opinion? Sway the Switch. That's the one you get the most attraction right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, but on, on what I'm about to say, I know you'll be on TikTok and shit. Is that a method for, like, you know, young artists as yourself to go ahead on the TikTok market and start? Yeah, know, TikTok for... making nigga shit go up. Yeah, yeah. So what's the method, though? Like, would you just got to upload the TikTok and it goes up on its yeah. own? Or? or is it like a certain hashtag you got to hashtag? Nah, it just go up by itself. It just go up by itself. With no follow, I'm saying, what if, like, you just, now just, like, you know, you just starting TikTok shit with no followers, no nothing? No follow. You don't need no follow. That's how you started? Uh, yeah. But I'm pretty sure you had a little fan base that you just hopped on TikTok. Everybody started looking your ass up. Hell no. TikTok. Hell yeah, yeah. So for the people that don't know, like, where do you even pick your buzz or where you came from? The headshot. The headshot music video? I mean, song? Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, that shit went viral, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's almost at a million, right? It, it been past a million. Where? Like, four million. I'm talking about, that, um, that mean it all, but on YouTube, it finna hit a million, the video. Oh, okay, guys. So you talking about the the streaming shit? Oh, yeah, that shit got them going crazy. <clears throat> Hell, yeah. So what what I about to say for the people that don't know, where's YNS? NS? Where's YNS? Yeah. Young nigga shit. It's a family, a team. It's a movement, label type shit. Who all in it? Court, Baby Tay, Deco, Julia, Didi, Chase, Tank. Lil D, Lil Z, Cameraman. It's a whole bunch of folk. Yeah. So how how they just, like you say it's a family thing? So like it's basically everybody that grew up with each other. Mhm. Yeah, yeah. So y'all don't y'all don't know, like accept outsiders type shit. Uh. What if it, like somebody from let's say from the south side or the east side that he got talent? Hell no. We fucking with these y'all niggas, but they can't take claim y'all niggas shit if like they ain't locked in. So these niggas just outsider. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what's on? Um, what's your relationship with uh, Corey? We locked there. That's not my see, brother. Man. When y'all coming out with the tape? Oh no, he's a biz post did tape with QZ. 
Yeah, you could tell him a while back. And you said the uh the re- you said QC so basically QC was finna put the tape together for both of y'all? And that shit didn't go through? Oh, we just didn't do it. Like I don't know. I like, it was some more shit. So um, was it business on the business side of, of shit? Or or the or the street side of the music industry? Hey, that like hey, that with that it don't got nothing to do with that. It just yeah. like we, we want we wanted, I don't know. We complete like three songs. I don't know why we ain't do it. We yeah. still supposed to do it. I don't know why we ain't do it. Damn. So what I'm saying, y'all went to the studio and y'all just did three songs. And y'all just left it at that. We did three songs for QZ. They wanted to see what we could do. Oh shit, bro. Like we made that no headshot song. That was time went up like three hundred k on TikTok. So that's where y'all made no headshots at mm-hmm. at the QZ. So when he so I'm saying when he seen that shit, what, what the hell he say? Who? Cool. When y'all went to the QC, when he said that he, he he was trying to see like what y'all got, like music wise. Like it was a girl. Oh, it was a female. Yeah, she seen it going up. She said, "Oh yeah, she know it was going up." Then they, they ain't offer no deal. No, nah, they been offered a deal. Oh, you ain't take it. It's some old shit. Ain't no ad train. Oh damn. Oh you right there. Oh, did the ad train. <laughs> Damn, so you said so you said you ain't take it. That's crazy, bro. Why the hell so well, let, let me get it. like what, it was like the money or what? No, it was just for me and Core, like it wasn't like it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Me and oh yeah. Oh, so you trying to make sure everybody get like broke off even type shit? Okay, okay. But I know like all of y'all like what are y'all going like your own way? But y'all still in the group, everybody going like their own separate, like getting deals, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, so why the hell, like, um, so you basically what you were trying to do is like get a deal for like both of y'all that, that makes sense for both of y'all type. Oh, that would I wouldn't try to do that. They offered that. Oh, they know, offered but... that. Okay, okay. So what they were trying to do, like on some, like, like a duo type shit? Yeah. Type, oh, okay. Like on some Migos type shit, type of deal. Okay. Me go a th- trio, not a duo. <laughs> shit, but you know, like like that type of shit. But they a duo now. Fucked up, but hell yeah, you hell. <laughs> nah, there ain't no this a take off. Just yeah. saying, they they a duo. Well, not even no more. Everybody went their own solo way, you know. Hey, yeah, because you know that. To me, I felt like the rap group never even gonna last that long. Because eventually, you gotta go solo. Just like for example, like Travis Porter. You know they they went like two years and shit like that. Yeah. So hell yeah. What about to ask on for like you know growing up, what was you listening to coming up? I right, we would listen to Young Thug, Future and shit. Young Thug. Lucci and shit growing up. Oh, yeah. Just listen to all of them. Straight Atlanta shit. Rich on the corn and shit. That's all. Yeah. Now now then you in the music yeah, industry, shit. you don't want no like you don't want to make no music with like no other artists that you just named? Nah shit, nah. You don't want a song with no future? I want to see myself making a song with Future. You say you don't? Why not? Because we got different flows. <coughs> different and what would holes. be and what what would be like your flow? Will? I can switch my flow up. Yeah. You said you could switch it up on there. Yeah. 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 So what? How you feel about everybody like putting you in the category like you know you drill and y'all all y'all do is like scream. <laughs> On them fucking mic and all that It'll shit. It'll be better. Yeah, my shit still be going up. I hope he can. She's as long as I'm getting paid. Man. As long as I'm getting paid to this money, man. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Like, who came up with like, who you feel like came out with this style of music? Nah, a... <laughs> Probably anti. Oh no, anti. But it's not even that. It, <coughs> it, nigga been doing this shit. Mm. I see on the internet a lot of people saying that Uno the Savage. Who the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Uno Savage. Uno Savage. No, he was like, Uno what Savage. year would you say he was popping? Uh, I think it was like what, 2016, 2017, some shit like that. Twenty, I don't know. I don't he was I like, forgot about his ad, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's like everybody in the internet say he's like one of the first one that kind of like, but y'all doing it different from how he was doing yeah. it. But everybody saying like he kind of birthed that wave type shit like that. So you say you don't want to be like you don't want to stay in that in that lane for for that for that long or like you yeah. Know. I, uh, 
I just be switching it off. I don't even be. It, it just, I be switching it off. <coughs> hell yeah! What the hell I'm finna say? Oh yeah. Let's say the um the whole little drill you know scene right now like it won't last till like I would say like till like uh next year type shit because there was a lot of pretty like but I feel like a lot of people like praying on a downfall for the drill scene. In I know, Atlanta. but hope, but that drill shit nigga switching it up nigga ain't gonna be saying doing that drill shit. Yeah. For the rest of their life. So you saying like when that that sound is dying down, everybody you feel like gonna go their own like separate separate shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so some if, people. Some people. I know I will. I'm gonna switch. You gonna switch that shit up? What era of the drill music would you say is better? New York, Chicago, or Atlanta? Atlanta. Atlanta. You fuck with that shit heavy. Yeah. Would you? Would you? Uh, you got into it the Chicago on drill way? Or Hell no. Nah. I used to listen to King Von though. King Von. Yeah. 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 See that drill rap? Hell yeah. And this um this tape that you put together, like how long it took you to put that shit together? Like Not it was. So like what like some last minute shit or you really like took your time to put it together? Some last like in the middle. In the middle, yeah, yeah. What's your like you know what's your top three artists right now? Mm, baby, YTB Fat, and 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 Cardi. I'm fucking with Cardi. Play with Cardi. Yeah, yeah. You fucking with that boy Cardi after what he just did. Oh no, nah, this is <laughs> right now. <laughs> I fuck with Cardi too, man. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. That boy crazy, man. What made you get into that sound of Cardi? Yeah, Geek though, listening to music. That bit, he get that bit rhymes on that bit hard. So you, so you, so, so you like who who put you on to Cardi? I've been listening to Cardi though. And you been? Geek and shit. I've been listening to them for. Yeah. Just uh, when I was playing the game, listening to them for. Yeah. Geek. So, I'm surprised you say that shit because I feel like you're more like on the street side of the music, not, not like the the SoundCloud music. You know how yeah. you just say like uh, Yeet and um, Cardi and shit like that. Hell yeah, man! And I know y'all boy just came from shopping and shit like that. I was just about to ask you about um, you know, the clothing and shit. What type of clothes you into? Like designer streetwear or what? I like designer. <clears throat> designer. Yeah, but I just got it from my boy Baby T. Shout out Baby T. It's heaven sin. Mm-hmm. Shout out Baby T. Just gave me the merch. Oh yeah, you know, I, I fuck with it too. Yeah. What's your favorite brands though? That like you be fucking with it heavy. My favorite brand. What I be wearing? What I wear? Everything. Balenciaga, Von Hart, Rick. Rick on. Yes, Rick that's on. my best. Hell yeah. See, Rick yeah, on. yeah, Rick on. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you going all black with the Rick on? How everybody doing it when they um they be signing them deals? Rick Yeah, yeah. No, but you know what I'm talking about though, like the Rick. Oh, black when you, you know how like uh Playboy, yeah, yeah like Playboy Carton on them, like uh, he ain't doing all that shit. Hell no, I'm <laughs> dressing with my Ricks. <laughs> he said he dressed with his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's your mission? I did music shit. Hmm? What's like? What you trying to get out this music shit? Like, what's the mission? Move my mama out. Oh. All that. Move your mama out. Get my life straight. It's your life straight. Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, what's a mistake that you did in your lifetime that fucked you up? That you, you in a way, like, you, you could take it back? What I did. You say, what I did? You did a lot of shit. Right. I done did a lot of shit. I ain't, I ain't really did nothing too bad. <coughs> yeah. I ain't do nothing. So was that one mistake that you know like kind of like fucked you up in the long run? Like damn, I wish I never did that shit. Though. This happen. I don't know. Getting kicked out of school. Getting kicked out of school. Getting kicked out of school. What school you were going to? Kip. Yep. Kip. Yep. And what uh, what grade you was in? Hmm? What grade you was in when you got kicked out? When I first got kicked out, man. Like. Right. You say sixth grade? Seven. Seven. Eight. So when the hell you got kicked out, what the hell you do? You went to another school, you said, fuck it. I went to another school and got kicked out of that school, John Lewis. Damn, what the fuck was you doing, man? Just getting into a lot of shit. <laughs> Being niggas out, getting a hand. <laughs> Damn, so you got kicked out of two schools. Yeah. Did you got down even go to um, the high school? Or you did, what, homeschool or some high shit? High school, right. I, got, I went to high school. I just got kicked out of high school. Damn. What high school this was? 
K C Kip. I think I kid that. I go to C. I do virtual now. Oh, you do virtual. <laughs> you do virtual. That shit more easy for you. I ain't started yet. Oh, you ain't started. If I start this week, me Monday. So how the fuck? I'm tr- damn. That's crazy. That virtual shit. So. How you gonna like handle everything so you know you in this music shit? I'm pretty sure you know you have a busy life. I can music. log in while I'm in the studio. <laughs> do a little work. He said do a little work. Yeah. Is you gonna is like you gonna finish that shit or? I'm a blunt, huh? You gonna finish that shit? Like school? Yeah. Yeah. You never thought about going like the college route? Nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. do college. Nah, not really. Yeah, yeah. For the people that wanna know, like you know. College the, is just choice. It's a choice. That shit don't get to know <laughs> That shit don't get to know <laughs> I mean, I feel like college, if you want to go to college, you want to be like a fucking scientist, a doctor, some shit like that, lawyer, you know? I'm going to be an astronaut. <laughs> it's an astronaut. <laughs> That's it. What, like, before this music shit, before you even got started, what the hell you was like doing? I been rapping. You been rapping? Yeah. What age would you say you were doing music? Been rapping since I was like six. So you were like six? That damn early? Six? So you already kind of like, like, kind of already knew, like, I'm finna be an artist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when you finally find, sign that first deal, like, what was going through your head? <coughs> shit. On some shit, like, you made it. Uh, yeah. When you when you sign that deal, did you put more work or you feel like you slowed down a little bit more? Put in a little bit more work. Put a little bit more work. Ain't been like that. Oh yeah. I signed distribution. Oh yeah. But now I just be hearing st- stories where like artists finally get the bag off the you know the label and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Then the work at the drops and shit like that. Cause yeah, I guess they put you know the music to the side and enjoy mm-hmm. life type shit like that. Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do with the first big bag you get of like your your music? I probably move the st- move. Where out of Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To another state or to t- another state. Damn. No. So let's say you move to fucking like Houston or some shit like that. You you still gonna you feel like you still gonna rap the same? You I probably switch it up going down there. But hell no, I'm I'm gonna rap the same for sure. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think you will. I am. I've I seen a lot of artists move. Fans in Houston, buddy. Nah, but I know that, but I'm just saying, like, your style, how you rap, I feel like Atlanta influenced a lot of that, you know, your how you rapping right now. And once you leave out of that shit, out of Atlanta, I feel like you gon' I you might end up picking up with something like a whole different flow or some shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, Because I done seen that a lot with a lot of artists leave Atlanta for a good-ass time. And then, you know, the, you could tell the music completely changed from when they just stay in Atlanta. And when they come back, they, like, they go right back to the Atlanta yeah, culture and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Are you a club person? Yeah. Like you like to go to clubs, strip clubs, and all that shit in Atlanta? Yeah, no. I I'm chilling. So you ain't uh, uh, you don't be on that nightlife shit, unless you get booked, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But here, yo, like for the for the fans that want to know, like what you do outside of music. I be chilling. You be chilling. You don't be doing other shit. Games, nothing. What game you be on? Fortnite. Fortnite? That's the only shit you be on Fortnite? Yeah, yeah. That's like shit. So as an artist, you know, for the people that, you know, that want to get signed and, you know, they're still independent and shit like that, how do you even price yourself? Like, like how you charge people for features and shit? How you put that price on yourself? You got to say, like, features, 70. So I'm saying, like, you, you, you per- do the label come up with your feature price, or do you come up like I feel like I'm worth seventy dollars or a hundred for this feature? How that shit go? Are you talking about if you're not piping? Yeah, let's say I, I want a feature. How, how would you? I'm saying like, how you put like money on on on, on yourself? Oh, I say like three hundred for a feature. Yeah, I ain't gonna boost up a thousand yet because I know some of these niggas ain't got all that. See, you saying these grown niggas, yeah, these grown niggas. I do like a thousand, twelve hundred, but these kids they get like three hundred. They don't got all that pay. Hey man, you an upcoming artist, man. You better get that three hundred dollars. So that goes for any any like 
For any upcoming artist, 300? Hey, man. I get that shit. Because you know you're an upcoming artist. You're trying to, you know, goddamn. Would you work with anybody? Oh, mm-hmm. no. Would you work with anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the song just squiggly ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they paying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She said they pay. I don't want no money because they can But you know, it's like, you know, in, in this. Money talk bullshit yeah, mm-hmm. that too. But what? Because you know, sometimes that shit bring your reputation down. They be like, damn, man, you just working with anybody. Hey, man, but you getting that paid. You said you get that. Oh, don't even think like that. If he paid you, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I try to tell you, man. But yeah, now I would just, I would just always wonder how like an artist like price they sell. Because like you said, some people just be like, should you give me a hundred, you know, two hundred? But I was just like, you know, I was just wondering, like, how do you price yourself? You know, how you put money on your worth, type shit. What's your definition of success? Like, if you living, if you living, you G's, yeah. don't gotta worry about no money. Yeah, yeah, life straight. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You know, Atlanta been going crazy in the street. Why? How you keep yourself? You know, like. From all this, like, you know, crazy shit that's going on in the streets. Just staying out the way. Staying out the way. Just great studio shit. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know that's right. So you moved more different now? So yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I moved different now. Yeah. And when you say you move different, how different do you move? Stand, around, stand from around a couple of folks. Not going nowhere by myself. Definitely. And do fans, like, do you start to get, like, fans to start noticing you outside, like, you know, in the streets and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And how do you, like, when people, like, fans kind of, like, you know, come at you and shit like that, how do you take that ass? Oh. You, don't, you don't be, like, I ain't gonna say paranoid, but, like, you don't be, like, like why the hell you, like, walking up to me and shit oh, like that? Oh, hell no, because I know I'm a rap. I know why they walking up to me. Like, they want to <laughs> But well, how you know what their intentions are, you know, when they walking up to me? Like, how they walking up on you? Like, that was how they walk on oh, He walking up looking hard. Oh, yeah, that's all. He ain't fucking with me. He's trying <laughs> to be. He feel like a, he look happy. Yeah. Somebody look happy. Oh, yeah, that's a fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, you pay, so you pay attention to little shit like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, you got to, man. Hell yeah! What's the um, what's the uh, the best the best song that you say you dropped so far out of all your categories, like all the music you drop? Best song. Well, let's put it like this: in the pe- for the people that gonna watch it that haven't heard about you, what's your like top three best song you could recommend them to go listen to? No headshots, headshots, and swing the switch. Swing the switch. And yeah. Chrome Heart. And Chrome Heart. Throw that Chrome Heart. Yeah, and these are all platforms, right? All these songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for the people that man, yeah, go check that out, man. Yeah, yeah. And you said, um, you said you you said about this drill shit. How long you feel like it's gonna last, personally, to you? Probably like a couple of more years. A couple more years? More than five? Would you say? No, uh, not more than five. Like two more years, one year. Why you feel like it's not gonna last too long? Cause I know this shit burn off. But if you hard, hard like folk, yeah. Cardi, he rap different folks still listening to him. Yeah. So, so yeah. But I feel like Cardi, the way he's staying relevant, it's like he Cardi goes, switched his flow, you know? Yeah. He switched his shit. Yeah, he went back to that old Atlanta, how he first came up in Atlanta and shit like that. Because, you know, his last album, he was more on some, like, rock star shit, like, you know, gothic uh, rock star shit. Now he going back to the Atlanta street shit and type shit. Would you ever sign the OPM, though, if you ever got down? Yeah, yeah. He said, hell yeah. <laughs> he said, that opium, bro. Hey, yeah. Have you ever had people, like, since you signed this, you know, this deal and shit like that, you, did you got, like, family members or, like, friends you used to fuck with that tell you, like, oh, you sold your soul, shit like that? For the fame? No. Nah. Hell no. Yeah, yeah. What's the most crazy shit somebody said to you in the DMs? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. It was a fan? Yes. I'm gonna kill you. Every time crazy, I probably can show you something now. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Why they gonna kill you, man? Why they try to kill they you? They be hanging. They be fucking with the ops, hang. Oh, it be like fans of the ops. Yeah. Stances. So ops basically sending their fans your way. 
Yeah, yeah. Point, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> How you take that or like like I, I know you get like positive and negative, you know, comments and shit. Do you let that shit get to you like the negative shit? Nah, hell yeah, no. Nah. You don't Not let that the guy. Cause you know a lot of fans like to stir up a lot of beefs and shit. <laughs> so let's say a whole bunch of fans come, you know, they start DMing you and tweets and all that shit, be like, oh such and such just dissed you. You going for it? No. Nah. For the diss back? Look, one of the fans said, can't wait, can't wait to catch your whole ass. You got to put that up on the screen. Can't wait to catch your whole ass. I'm going to send you the screenshot so you can put it on the video. So you said that's an ops fan. Yeah. yeah. Is Pick a side before I terrorize your ass. The nigga had to be torn. <laughs> Hold on, you said what though? They said pick a side before I terrorize your ass. What the fuck, bro? Crazy. Damn, bro. What the hell what the hell you do to them folks, man? Them folks be hang like hell. That's crazy, man. Yeah, man. Don't let these fans make you crash out, man. I feel like a lot of fans in it for the negative shit anyway, you know. Hey, yo. Well, um, <clears throat> what else you got in store? What else you about to drop or do? Music videos? Yeah, I've been, I got a music video today with Lil Duke. A Lil Duke? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you just dropped one, like, what, two days ago, right? Or some shit like that? Yeah, Three yeah, days yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. music. I'll go get that. Yeah, yeah. So you back on, like, you back, you right now, like, on, on music videos, dropping this shit. Yeah, that's sure. what you That's what you been missing and shit. You know what? What you know? This year was over with. Uh, twenty twenty three was over. What? What you gonna do a little bit more different this year for twenty twenty four? Probably stay consistent. 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 Stay consistent. Dropping back to back, back to back. Back to back to back. You feel like last year you weren't doing that? Mm-hmm. Last year you weren't really doing that. Yeah, I was drop back to back. Yeah. You talking about like singles, right? Singles yeah. or tapes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's gonna be your next tape you drop? And next tape, it's gonna call failed mission. Next tape called <laughs> failed mission. Mission. Why failed mission? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Just know it's a failed mission. It's a failed mission. How many songs gonna be on that motherfucker? Fifteen. Fifteen. And yo, I see when you. Done. Oh, you almost done. So you about to drop that shit soon? Shh. Like yo ass on on the bad to bad dropping for real, man. Damn, you dropping I ain't gonna lie, you dropping hella music for the for the tapes. So like you have something to listen to when I'm not dropping. So when you when when you feel like you gonna go cold and don't drop. Uh, or you'll never see yourself doing that shit? I don't never see myself if I'm get, if I'm getting too much money. If I'm getting too like money mm-hmm. coming in fast to here, fast to here, mm-hmm. I can take a little time off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, when I hear a lot of artists talking about their album mode, they go ghost or, like, yeah. you know, they just like don't baby. Do, yeah. Like, right now, he like got get. to the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the big artist you know you want to work with in the future? Um, Baby. Baby. Little Baby. Yeah, yeah. Out of, out of all Atlanta, just Baby. I already listed over there. Cardi. Yeah, yeah. So what what you really listen to? Just the camp? The just the team music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And when you drop music, who give you the green light to drop it like? The label. The label. Yeah, yeah. So what you just like giving the music and they tell you like, oh, okay, it's okay, it's okay to put out? Yeah. Type shit. And they'll give me a date. Oh, they give you a date. Oh, so you can't drop it right right then and there, like the next day type shit? Damn, for real? And we're like that. Hey, that's crazy, man. So they never told you like, hell nah, this ain't it. Hell no. Nah. Oh damn. <laughs> damn. Nah, cause you know it's it's a lot of situations where they tell you like, you know, like I don't heard where they got like older people in there and they be like, damn, they, cause they, they shit ain't it. That <laughs> shit it. He said that shit ain't it. Hell yeah. Everything takes time. You can't rush it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I know about that shit. That shit's crazy. Hell yeah, yeah, man. For the people that are trying to come to Atlanta, man, what's some tips you you you, you want to give them, man? Stay out the way. Stay out the way. Stay out the way. Tell them what areas ain't for the tourists. Hmm? What areas are not for the tourists? What you mean? What do you 
like you know, a lot of people come to Atlanta and they feel like they could just go anywhere in Atlanta. They don't know where the hell they be getting themselves into. Well, like what place they can't come to. Yeah, type shit. Not like oh you banned from this shit, but you know. What place? Don't go to the art side. Cause they shit getting it every day. Every day. It's like you say there's a war zone out there. What? War zone out there for sure. Can't tell y'all the address though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you crazy man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. What else you want to tell your uh, your supporters, man, about you? Stay tuned for failed mission. Failed mission. Tell you now. Yeah, Be yeah. In life. Most definitely, man. And, like, I know, like, um, you into straps and shit like that? Glocks and all that? Oh, nah. I yeah. ain't gonna brag about them, but we told him. So no, what? I, <laughs> <laughs> he got one on him now. Man, but what's, what's, what's your favorite one, though? Your favorite Glock? Yeah. I don't really know about Glock. I just got into the guns. Oh, you just got into it? See, because I see, you know, a lot of people. Just I, they Glock 23, my favorite. You said Glock 23, your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Where can it find you, like, all social media platforms? Lil Waddy. Yeah, Waddy. Instagram, Lil Waddy Wine there. TikTok, Lil Waddy. Yeah, yeah. Found everything Lil Waddy, everything Lil Waddy, instead of my Instagram, Lil, in my Instagram, Lil Waddy Wine there. Yeah, yeah. Before we head out, what's the, what's the, what's like one thing you love and hate about Atlanta? One thing I love about Atlanta mm-hmm. is the support. And the support. One thing I hate about Atlanta is like how many folk be hang, folk be hang and shit. Yeah. That's what I hate about Atlanta, folk be hang. So you feel like more people hate you in Atlanta, or they love you? They love you. They love you. True, true that, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You gave them where they can find you. And shit, anything else you want to promote? Merch, anything? Let's t- go tap in with the tape. Just in time. Out now. On all platforms. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, yo, man. Y'all go goddamn follow him. Go check out his music, man. Appreciate you for out here coming out, showing love to the pod, man. Hey, we out. We out.